Dry ingredients are easy once you mix them together. You can just kind of like set them, set them aside. Let's actually take the focus off me and onto the ingredients. Let's see if is that good? Can you see what I'm working with? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So yeah, I just have a this is a cutting board technically, I think. It's just a surface to collect my dry ingredients. Okay. This is getting anywhere. Okay. Oh. For those of you who are complete noobs, to measure a cup of flour, you like take a heaping cup and then slide the excess off. I'm just going to do that up here. I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. Nice, even one cup. Two cups. precise with baking, but don't worry about the excess. I feel like more than anything, the texture is what's most important. And so sometimes you're going to need extra flour or less flour. And so just kind of got to be flexible and not, people think that baking is being about super rigid and precise with your measurements, which is kind of true to an extent because the proportions are so important. But, you know, there's so many different variables on weather, humidity, uh, baking, especially with altitude, um, elevation is what I meant. <clears throat> Where you are in the world can really affect your cookies. Okay, so three cups of flour. flour. And, oh gosh. I want to say one and a half teaspoons. Teaspoon of baking soda. Same idea, just flatten off the top with the knife. wonderful person, kind, charming, entertaining, so positive minded, and so beautiful. Never stop walking along the way that you're going, because you're doing great by sharing the great personality that you have. Your character is a blessing for everyone who is around you, despite your, your pain and disease from time to time. Whenever it might be dark in your life, let your community be there for you, to help you keep the light in your heart. Oh. You're so sweet, Markra. Thank you so much for your kind messages. Well, hi, Jet. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you are also spending it with someone that you love. 
We're going to do a little shorter stream today so I can spend some time with the hubby, but we're going to make some cookies first. Okay. So I think this is all my dry ingredients. Sugar, although you think sugar is a dry ingredient, it's actually a wet ingredient because we're going to mix it in with our butter. So don't put in your sugar, just flour, baking soda, and salt. Okay? And then once you have all three in your colander, then you sift them together. is too coarse to go through and I just kind of dump it out. I think the most important thing is that you mix the baking soda in with the flour and the flour doesn't have clumps in it anymore. So I'm going to take this. This is our dry ingredients. We're just going to set it aside for now. Oh, oh good. The static is so light and fluffy. Okay, so now we're moving on to our wet ingredients. I usually like to leave the butter out. Like this one I left out and it's nice and you know soft. This one we had to go to the store and get some fresh butter because I uh, ran out of butter. I use a lot of butter in my life. Butter is one of the cheapest way to get easy, easy taste, you know what I mean? You know, ramen noodles. Kind of suck. Just, just throw some butter in there. Don't use the packet. Just butter and maybe some Parmesan cheese. Cheapest way to spice it up. But anyhow, this is just way too um, thick, so I'm actually going to nuke it. This one's fine though. This one's nice and soft. This one's been left out. So if you, if you haven't uh, left out your butter, sometimes you just have a baking whim. You need to just bake immediately. Don't have time to leave out your butter. And just nuke it. But be very careful, you don't want to melt it too much. Although with this recipe, I guess it doesn't matter, honestly, because <laughs> now that I think about it, we're gonna, because we're going to be creaming it with the sugar, it doesn't matter if you kind of overdo it in the microwave. and soft. I have arthritis, so making cookies without some sort of machine would be near impossible for me. So I love my KitchenAid, um, but it's totally not necessarily necessary, especially if you have an able body. But okay, so you might be like, Shell, why are you just going to mix butter? What the hell? The answer is lubrication. 
Um, we're gonna get the butter in by itself and just turn it on for a hot second and we'll see what happens. But it's gonna be loud, you've been warned. It doesn't turn on. What the hell? things from getting stuck at the bottom you know it's you know butter is an oil or it's a fat uh, it's um, you know it's, it's a good lubricant and so this will keep your you know clumps of stuff getting uh, stuck at the bottom but what we're gonna do is we're gonna add sugar a whole cup of light brown sugar Okay, so actually, with sugar, what we really want is exactly eight ounces of sugar. <clears throat> and if you have a food scale, feel free to measure that out because that's the most accurate way to measure out brown sugar. Um, I do have a food scale and I do love it very much. I love it so much that its batteries are dead right now, <laughs> so I can't use my my. My food scale. But for this recipe, we need to add enough sugar for it to be lightly packed. So, sugars in flour are very different when you measure them. Like with flour, we just filled it up and scraped it off the top. And that's how you measure flour. But with sugar, you gotta kinda like pack it in there a little bit to get the actual measurements right. It's pretty dumb. Especially brown sugar. Wait, how did you have... <laughs> When was the first microwave invented? I'm pretty sure it wasn't in the 1800s yet. Jet. jet set. There's two jets in the chat right now. Jet set is jet A, right? Okay, so like, yeah, kind of pack it in there to, to get the measurement. Mm. And if you want to be super precise, uh, measure it by weight. Oh, I need more measuring devices. Whoops. So we put in a full cup of light brown sugar. Now we're gonna put a quarter cup of granulated sugar. And uh, my quarter cup thing's dirty right now. I use it to feed Luna. She eats a quarter cup of food at a time. What is that? Oh, oh some of my sugar. Okay. So I'm actually just kind of kind of eyeballing. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> So about two ounces of sugar, of white sugar, or a quarter cup. And you know, it's sugar. If you have put too much sugar in your recipe, that's fine. It'll just be deliciouser, right? All right, so now that we have our sugars and our butter together, now we're going to mix this up, and uh, this is going to take a minute, just mixing these two together to make them uh, completely consistent.
You know, we want basically for the sugars to melt into the butter. It'll be great. process that kills the bacteria living inside the eggs without actually cooking them. Uh, milk is also pasteurized, but if you live in the EU, your eggs are not pasteurized. So definitely wash your hands afterwards. great. I actually was able to even like separate it just fine. It was just that second one that was derpy. Oh yeah, there's the eggshells. Let's go fish those out before we add anything to it. Isn't there a trick to this? 
Aren't I supposed to use like part of the eggshells? Like usually this doesn't happen, guys. Don't ever screw up eggs like that. Although these are also like brown eggs. I don't usually get brown eggs either.
I totally messed this up, guys. I didn't add it in the right order. Oh well. Let's add our dry stuff in now. I was thinking more of a cheesecake where you put all the wet ingredients in first. Okay. Anyhow, just add about like a third at a time. I mean, it's all going in at some point. So I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Yeah, get about a third in there. Mix it up. Oops, it's already up. Needs more uh, flour, add more flour, but it's actually doughing up real nice. And just like scrape it. If anything, it might even need more liquid still, even though I, I ruined a lot of the flour right there. I guess I didn't ruin that much. I guess that's part of the re reason why you're supposed to add it in thirds. <laughs> So, in case you fuck up one of the thirds, you don't like blow all your flour all over your kitchen. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, guys, okay? It's my first uh, creative stream. But yeah, you know, it's a good ratio when the dough is just like pulling away from the sides all on its own. dough texture right now so we're just gonna call that little little flower mishap serendipity this is 
this is an awfully nice texture. Scrape it all so we get a nice mix, nice consistent mix. Okay, we're almost, we're almost done here. <clears throat> one more, one more go of the mixer. I'll go get the chocolate chips ready. Ratio, that's what's really important. And then it's the best part licking the paddle. <laughs> Chill for 
for an hour. What are you going to do for an hour, you might ask? Well, we're going to go play some Hearthstone. My saran wrap skills failed. Looks like I'm gonna get the flower off of this. That's what I'm blaming. I'm blaming the flower. All right. There we go. Oh, I guess not. Permanently on the flower. Your flower's on this thing. There we go. I guess the important thing is that it's covered. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to throw this in the refrigerator for an hour. Hearthstone, uh, get my quest done for today because there's still the daily quests, and then hopefully by then it'll be ready. Impulsively bits off my hands. can tell you'll have some new stories tonight. <clears throat> All right, we are in. Oh shit, that's an alarm for coffee. I haven't had coffee yet. Oh. Never vacuum flowers, says Jet Set Toaster. That sounds like a story. Why why were you vacuuming flowers, Jet Set Toaster? Tell me. <laughs> Win five games with Paladin or Warrior? Sounds good. Perfect. Alright, one sec, guys. I am back. Whew. <clears throat> A and Tavern Brawl's back. Let's go see what Tavern Brawl has to offer. Boss Battle Royale 2. The bosses are back and they brought some new friends. Find out who's the new champion. Choose a class and we'll give you a corresponding dungeon boss to play. 
So, my birthday presents, I got a mechanical keyboard from my husband. Look at it, it's so nice. It's actually a lot more ergonomic than the keyboard that I had, and so I'm re pretty excited about it. Um, and it's just, it's just nicer. I'm on my computer all the time, literally every day. And so, I, I'm, I really liked that gift. And uh, I think that's like the only little present that I got. I mean, I'm going to Phoenix next weekend. Going back home for uh, my birthday to see my grandparents. And they'll give me my birthday present then. But I know it's just going to be like a card with some, some cash in it. But that's okay. Okay, so who do I want to play? I think I want to play... Let's play Paladin because like th these totally count towards the quests. What brand and what kind of switches? It's a Logitech, which I really like the Logitech stuff. I mean, my cam's Logitech, my mouse is Logitech. Um, my old cam was Logitech. I've just been really happy with Logitech. And um, it is red keys. I know, like, blue and black are, like, the norm. Versus the curator! But, Do not um, touch the displays. <clears throat> On guard! Huh. Um, oh, wait, where'd my music go? One sec. I just realized that my music stopped playing. Bring that back up. It's because I haven't had coffee yet today. I'm just all sorts of scatterbrained. I write pretty much all day, every day, and Grammarly makes my writing better. As a student, I like that it's free actually is correcting everything. Oops, sorry guys. Making you listen to an ad while I drink coffee. Okay. Why am I playing Hearthstone? Um, because the batter is chilling. I suppose I should put my thing back to Hearthstone. Yeah, we're, we're done making the batter. Oh, this is the dungeon run um, for this week. It just, you pick a class and then it's, it turns into a random uh, challenge. Karazhan challenge, apparently. What is, let's make this, there we go. The frilly bits were all tangled. What is this? Discover a chess piece. I'm pretty sure that's good, right? Do you want Queen's Glore? If I remember this battle right? Bring me steel! Oh, wait, weird. He doesn't have chess pieces, though. Huh. Knight to F6. You have the red switches and you love the click clack. Yeah, red switches are supposed to be quiet, right? Or that's what it said on the box. I actually don't Come really know. And listen. One of these guys, some variety. Uh. 
Red is the mid mid range for sound. Okay, that's good. Um. This guy has charge. Hmm. Without him having chess pieces, this seems super broken. <laughs> like, easy for me, broken. Alright, that seems like ultra broken. <laughs> Was that a human playing? Whatever, I won! I got my pack! Hey guys! We did it! We're the best! I think they conceded. I think that was actually a human. Alright, explosive shot! Not bad, not bad. See, where am I standing on the ladder right now? I kinda just wanna go into ranked, because we don't have that much time to play. And I have to play Paladin anyways for my quest. I don't know, I was, con I was under the impression that red were somewhat new. Because my friend asked me, oh, are they black or are they blue keys? And I said, neither, they're red. And he said he never heard of that. Uther versus Anduin! The light shall bring victory. I will fight with honor. <laughs> Let's fish for that, uh, cold arms. Listen, man. The light dims, but we are Alright, we're just gonna top deck like a fool for the next four turns. Turn three, I can drop this guy. Once upon a time. Oh, maybe it's silent red. Because it seemed to have s to stress uh, the quietness. Reporting for duty. Repent. I went for the greed play and tried to buff the war leader rather than just lay him down. I guess I would have gotten an extra two on his face. We'll see if that's significant later. Oh, there's the dusk breaker. Damn it. <sighs> dusk breaker's so annoying. Three damage is just so much. Okay, 
I really need to top deck the cold arms. copies of your mechanical keyboard. Well that's good. So like if you spill on it you can just uh, clean it out. Get down! Into the face is pretty good. I hope you like my invention. This fucking dead hand. No call to arms, no divine favor. No spells, really. Just, you know, two of my three highest. Like, what the fuck? He got call to arms before I did? Concede TPH. That's just, uh, RNGs is fucking with ya. Oh shit, I needed to set my Kodo. Oh well. Shit. 
That was my plan, to Kodo zero back. And I didn't execute. Oh, the missed place. <clears throat> Alright, come on, give me a spell. Nope, a whole lot of nothing. Alright, it's only one star. It's all good. And that was, like I said, that was just Iron Jesus saying, fuck you. No spells for me. And not only did I not get my spells, he got my spells. What the fuck? He played the call to arms and I didn't draw into one. Bullshit. <clears throat> Uther versus Jaina. You asked for it. I will fight with honor. Okay, I still want to fish for that call to arms. So we'll start with the wind drop and then cycle everything else out. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, in my first uh, five cards that I drew this game, I already have my two highest mana cost cards. Again. Okay, this is Exodia Mage, so we have to bring her down as fast as possible. This is a bad matchup for me. Mm. Um, so maybe you have two, four, five. No, couldn't. Maybe I have a chance to get poison, but I think this is the route to go. Repent for justice. Amazing. You want to cast a spell? I want to cast a spell.
justice. Okay, so I triggered her counter spell with my coin, which is good because that coin came out of the babbling book. So, um, she probably won't have another counter spell for when I get my call to arms. Health. That's okay. Amazing. Kinda feel like I'm not burning her fast enough. Attack with this. <clears throat> Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hoping to draw into her flame strike. You want to cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. <laughs> I swear, if that's another ice block. <laughs> put him down. Fishing. Ugh, what did she get? Yeah. 
she fucking drew into her ice block. Jesus, be kind. What'd she get? Someday I'll be just like you. God damn. <laughs> okay. Nice. Some people just, uh, they just don't want you to kill them. They don't want to give you the satisfaction. We only have 20 minutes left. Can't quite see. I've never needed the glasses. Uther versus Jaina. You asked for it. I will fight with honor. Gosh, this is such a sexy mana curve. But I want to play fucking called arms one of these games. So mad because I haven't drawn into my Carl to Arms for like four games now. It's just getting a bit ridiculous. And once again, like. <laughs> 
real Valentine's baby. Shut the fuck up. Real Valentine's baby were born in December. Born in November. Yeah, pretty much. Made on Valentine's Day. So I think that's that's three games in a row that not only did I not draw into my Carl of Arms, but I got two out of the three highest mana cost cards in my game. In my deck. What the fuck, Iron Jesus. Like, that's, that's to be expected every once in a while, but not three games in a row. What the fuck? I must protect the wild. I will fight. Okay, we're gonna fish for that called arms again. Fucking finally. The light dims, but we fight. I almost didn't attack with her. He's gonna swipe my face. Oh. He did not swipe my face. Well, that was fucking useless. Um. The battle! The battle! There's the swipe. Mm. Okay, six cards. This will draw me four. Keep her alive. Okay, and what the fuck again? Iron <laughs> Jesus, why do I have my highest mana cost cards again? Behold the rage of the firelands. Poison! Wind Fury doesn't help. one of these guys up so I can kill this thing. No, he's not going to. He actually he might do enough damage to it if he kills. He taps with it. Okay, good. Sweet.
for justice. For justice. Nice. God damn it, he's gonna gain 12 armor. Six armor and six more armor. I think I might have missed my opportunity to uh, win here. Spreading plague. Man, I've been just hit. Yep, there's fucking spreading plague. I've been just playing nothing but control decks today too. Not only am I like not really drawing into my spells, so many fucking control decks. Oh, and now he's gonna gain 12 more armor. Hey, look at that. For justice! Time's up, let's do this!
For justice. It's already gone on too late. Control decks are my worst count uh, matchup with an aggro deck. There we go. Yeah, draw cards. Draw cards. Don't play them so I can get some divine favor going. This thing? For I think justice. I do. I think I have to. the shuffle back in. Hello beast, how are you doing today? There's the call to arms, but it will literally empty my deck. Oh, actually, there's only one thing left in it. So this is... I drew it so fucking late that it's a dead card. I just like have had the worst luck with that today. Friendly Murloc. Some love. Fine and dandy, having a nice chill birthday stream. It's going great. I actually have just 10 minutes left until the batter is done or dough. nothing really I can do here. Too much control. Yes, today is my birthday. Let me for justice. <clears throat> Never give up, never surrender! <laughs> Any special plans for the stream money? Um, not right now. So, oh gosh. I've been thinking about trying to 
Because right, right now I have like everything I need for the stream. And I have a little bit in the stream funds ready for the next expansion that comes out for Hearthstone. So like I have that ready. But um... <clears throat> no. Yes. <clears throat> but what I do want, but it's not necessarily for this stream. So I'm thinking about buying Adobe Premiere Pro to do the video editing for my podcast. Cause I, I did the first one with Lightworks. And then my sister wanted something else edited out, and so I went to just because I've already done editing it. So I went back, tried to go back and like edit just like a little bit more out, and it like shit the bed, and it just is not usable. Hmm, what do I do? Well, we only have eight minutes left. How many? How am I doing on this quest? I've already done two. I need to win three more games. Ugh. I just want to play Secret Mage for our last game because we've just been going up against so much control on the ladder. So let's just switch to our, our Secret Mage deck. Paying for computer programs. I know, but I don't want to pirate things, you know. I want to be a good law-abiding citizen. But the idea that you have to pay like per month for software is kind of silly. IMO. <clears throat> uh, got a couple of options here. Gross. Hail and well met. How about you shut the fuck up? Nice, got that counter spell. But that's that's what's on my to-do list. But I kind of want to just like use the Patreon funds that we get for that. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Hmm. The real thing is where it's at. I don't know what you mean by that beast. <laughs> if you create something that costs nothing to reproduce, then you should accept that people will share it illegal. It's part of, illegally. It's part of the deal. I suppose. Now he's gonna call to arms because he popped my counter spell with his. The light dims, but 
this thing. Ooh. Thinking maybe I should kill him, but that I feel like he's gonna kill my worm. Oh, he didn't. Interesting. He's already used both of his ar um, Argent Protectors, so that's good. 18 damage. Yeah! 15 damage. Gonna just start the burn. Right away. That's fine. I still win. So this is funny. I bitched about, uh... Oh, there's so much control in the ladder. And so I switched from my aggro deck to my tempo deck. And as soon as I do that, it puts me up against a, uh... <clears throat> an aggro deck. Which he has the advantage, but I still won. Take that, nubbin. Alright, so we only have one minute left on the chill timer, so I'm actually going to switch back over to creative stream mode. This concludes the Hearthstone segment of the stream. Uh, creative... Is this creative or social eating? I'm not sure. But anyhow, we're back at this. Let me just switch on over. I almost want to just leave this cam up.
All right. If you heard that, that was the timer. Our stuff is ready. Oh gosh, but do it. Oh, I need to. I want to say these cookies cook at 350. Like what you see? No. Hell no. There we go. Check. Oh, fuck with those ten, seriously. Fuck it right in the ear. Should have moved all this during the downtime, but oh well. bloggers websites and they're trying to like do recipes or whatever but it's like three paragraphs or more of like their life story before you actually get to the recipe it's fucking terrible and that's a trend that needs to die three seventy five is right for me because my oven runs a little hot um, if you want to be super pro the best thing to do is to have a thermometer with inside your oven to see what it's at because a lot of ovens the what's actually inside the oven is off from what the oven says on the outside um, if you're really good at baking or if you have lots of experience you can kind of like just you know use your oven and realize oh my oven runs hot or oh my oven oven actually runs a little cold. So um, yeah, that's just something you, you need to adjust. Just goes by person to person. Oven to oven. Alright, what am I looking for? Parchment paper. Oh no, do we not have parchment paper? Is Christmas ruined? I think Christmas might be ruined, guys. Oil our cookie sheets. 
I just strongly prefer using parchment paper. What I really need is some silicone baking sheets that I can reuse, reduce, recycle, you know? I don't have any of those uh, spray things, so I just have to like rub it on with a paper towel, get a nice thin layer of oil on it so that the cookies don't stick to the sheet too bad. see in the background the light is on which means in my oven that it's preheating if um, that's just something that's different of an oven okay I actually kind of wanted to wash my hands I'm let me go wash my hands in the other sink because this is just too much of a mess to deal with right now I'm just going to go right at it. Um, we are going to try to do something kind of gay. So, let's take the spoon. So we're supposed to get 24 cookies. Get 24 cookies out of that, and so I like to try to like start dividing it immediately. So like, make it into one big bowl, one big ball, and then think, okay, so like that's the halfway point. Okay, so we're gonna bake half at a time, and then on this rack in particular, it's another half, right? So, now we need to make six cookies out of like this. Okay, so, kind of separate it into thirds. Oops. You know what I mean? Okay. So this is about the size of a cookie. So, you're supposed to just roll them into balls and then plop them right onto the, uh, the cookie sheet. But this is Valentine's Day. So we're going to try to like mold them into kind of hearts, kind of. Like that. When you make cookies, they're all a different size. Yeah, that's a really common problem, Jet Set. So that's why I try to like divide it when I like first look at it, just, just to guesstimate how big each cookie is gonna be. Oh, this one has lots of chocolate chips in it. Actually, let's take out some of those loose chips and just throw some dough in there. there go.
I like this part. This is really relaxing for me, just kind of molding cookies into, into hearts. And if you're baking these for your loved one, this is where you add the love. You know, they say that it's made with love, but they never really specify where in the recipe you should add the love. One, when you're, when you're mixing it together, it's nice to add a pinch of love. But especially when you're molding them, you just gotta, gotta focus on who you want these to, to go to and how much you want them to enjoy them. There we go. throw that chocolate chip back in. These chocolate chips are a little bit too big. Well, that's fine. They'll be more like a chocolate chunk rather than a chocolate chip. That's okay. Actually, that seems a little too big now. That's fine. That's fine. As long as they're about the same size. Just so they cook consistently. Uh, you can add as much love as you want. I mean, it's really a personal preference sort of thing. someone in your life that would appreciate some cookies. Don't feel too bad if you don't have a romantic love in your life this Valentine's Day. I think this is what I'm getting at. small. And the, the next uh, batch, next sheet will be much bigger. Whoops. That's fine. Again. It's actually, I feel like it's harder to shape them when they're big. expect these hearts to come out perfect. They'll probably just come out like uh, fat blobs, to be honest, because they'll just kind of expand outwards. But I think the general uh, pattern will be there. And heart is just such a recognizable symbol that it'll still kind of look like a heart. We'll see. We'll see.
<laughs> THC has a whole lot of love too. Hell yeah, it does. Someday. Actually, do you know what? Arizona's voting again to legalize recreational marijuana. And then if we just get the federal government on board, then I'll actually be able to make Twitch videos with such a things. But in the meantime, we just have to make these chocolate chip cookies all normal like. Yeah, I might give some away to my neighbors, um, cause yeah, it's just me and Eric that are gonna eat these cookies. Um, and <laughs> I kind of feel like I should give something to my neighbors, like as a thank you for putting up with my Chihuahua puppy. Like for the most part, she's a good girl, but uh, she still can be a bit of a yapper when we're taking her outside. Like she, she's really quiet when she's indoors, when she's in here with us, but um, yeah, when we take her outside and she sees literally anybody, she loses her mind. And that's like right outside my neighbor's window, so I, I kind of feel bad. One more. Actually, that was pretty good. See, I like divided the dough in halfish, and uh, oops. I divided the dough in halfish, and we like basically use half the dough for the first tray. So actually, this is a pretty good size. afraid of going downstairs when we live on the second story so like I'm not really afraid of her running away or getting loose I got a hair in this like if I were making these maybe I should put my hair up because I might give these to the neighbor I figure if it's just me and Eric like I don't have to wear my hair up it's fine all right there we go first batch has been shaped Oh, okay, first half. And then actually, let's, let's um, this. Let's, uh, just try to mix it together. chocolate chips with respect to the dough, in my opinion. Oh yeah, yeah, I do have a tattoo, guys. Can you see him? He's a turtle. What did you expect? <laughs> Actually, yeah, he, he inspired my, uh, my emoticon, you guys. And he has a peace sign in his shell. And, like, the emote that I made for my channel is just this guy, super simplified. it up.
when you divide it again, each one in half, it's 16. That's too many. That's too many. So we'll just take a little bit off of each one. Okay. Oh yeah, the fallout vibes. Yeah, it definitely has that nifty fifties. Actually, someday when I have uh, my own my own uh, house to nest in, I would like to do my kitchen in like nifty fifties style. And I already I have the start of it with the bright red mixer. that turtle oh that's for my uh the shell squad if you subscribe to my channel you get access to that particular remote of my my peace sign turtle if you ever need to remember to chill out like a turtle gosh i, I swear they're harder to mold when they're big maybe it's just because like it's obvious how like lumpy and not in the heart life they look. But what is? I guess if we get more than 24 cookies, that's not the end of the world. I didn't hear about that in Florida. Was that today? Did somebody disgrace my birthday? Fucking animals. Yes, it was today. Well, that's a shame. If you start with a circle, get it nice and symmetrical, and then kind of make it a butt, you know, double cheek actions. These hearts kind of look like butts, right? And then make your butt pointy and you have a heart. <laughs> and you can quote me on that. Reported 50 dead. Police, police reported two. I don't know. Any time an innocent dies is a tragedy. exaggerated and narrow they'll look more like hearts after they like fatten out 
So let's try that for the rest of the batch. checking those shells. I have like 4,700 some followers, guys. The 500 follower giveaway is not that far away. I think if we like exaggerate this, it'll look more like a heart. I know it looks silly now, but now that I'm thinking about how it'll rise when it bakes, I think this will look more like a heart than the ones that actually look like hearts. We'll see. We'll just have to see. What deck is this? Oh, shoot, do I have my deck tracker still up? Okay, no I don't. <laughs> I had to go check. Uh, this is a a priest deck because you know there's nothing that heals quite like home cooking. These silly ones will actually look more like hearts when they cook. Okay. Let's uh, just take the rest of this dough and redivide it. Of this batch. Make one big heart. I could do like a pizuki. Oh man, if you want to do that, I would highly recommend just getting like a cast iron pan and then just taking the whole cookie dough and like pushing it towards the end, but the bottom of the cast iron pan. And then you can like uh, put stuff on top of it. It's delicious. I want to like really exaggerate the, the nubbins there. Priest of the feast, yeah that's right, dead. Uh, so I've been streaming for two years. I started streaming Splatoon 2, no, Splatoon 1 was the first game I started streaming. So it was uh, September 13th, 2015, I think is when I started streaming. So we're coming up on three years now. This, this doesn't really look like a heart anymore. Gotta exaggerate the nubbins. There's like too many chocolate chips at the bottom though. Like I said, I had a too many, too much chocolate to dough ratio. And that's super obvious at the bottom here. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Almost done. I also feel like the more you work with it, the harder it is. If you just kind of work fast, it stays nice and firm. But if you're like mushing it too much, it kind of like warms up too much, then it's hard to work with. Last one. I 
head. It doesn't look like a heart at all. <laughs> it's like nothing but chocolate chips in that little lube of the heart. There we go. That looks more like a heart. Like I said, I think these thin ones will look more like hearts when they bake. We'll see. Okay, so now that we have two full trays of cookies, we're going to throw them in the oven. Oh gosh, should I? Okay, I have a dirty. Let me just uh, rinse off my hands. seven minutes first, and then we're going to rotate them, and then we're going to do another seven minutes. Oh, I don't have one of those cool windows for my, uh, for my oven, so you guys can't see the cookies bake. So I guess the real question is, what do we do for seven minutes? minutes. Tell us everything you know about Jupiter. Um, let's see. It is... Is it really right after Mars? Let's see. It goes, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. No, that's the wrong one. My... Very eccentric and just, I don't even remember the order. I know it's huge, it's the biggest uh, planet in the solar system. And uh, there's a storm on the planet that's like visible. It's the big red dot, it's actually a weather system. And that's about all I know about Jupiter. That didn't take seven minutes. I guess there's like Sailor Jupiter. She was pretty cool. Actually, if I remember right, I want to say she was my favorite. She's like the, the healer of this Sailor Moon squad, right? Or was that Mercury? One of those two. Those two were my favorite. I, I've always been a healer class. PEMDAS? I don't know what that is. about Pluto. Pluto doesn't deserve to be a planet, and I can tell you why. I know a lot of people, I don't know why, but a lot of people are like bent out of shape that Pluto's not a planet anymore. But, have you ever noticed that like, Pluto's orbit isn't like concentric like the rest of the planets? Like, Jupiter, there's the sun, and then it's kind of like concentric circles of uh, orbital paths outwards, you know, and then you have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Um, with Pluto, it doesn't do that. It, like, crosses the paths with Uranus, which makes it more like an asteroid than a planet, because it doesn't follow that concentric circle plan pattern. Also, it's a size issue. Like, most people are like, oh, no, it's too small to be a planet. That's probably the biggest and, like, easiest issue to see. But, uh, I feel like the, the orbital paths are more glaringly obvious that it's not a planet. And that it's not even actually like made out of anything, it's just like a chunk of ice out in our solar system. 
do you believe in the moon landing? Absolutely. So, if you don't believe in the moon landing, you can actually prove it to yourself. They left mirrors on the moon. And if you have any sort of like laser and uh, equipment to measure it, you can see the mirrors that they left on the moon. That's how we won the space race, right? Do you think Russia would have been like, oh yeah, we give up in the space race unless we actually went to the moon? You know, the Russian scientists went, you know, looked at the moon, saw all the mirrors that we left there, and was like, okay, yeah, you guys won. You actually made it to the moon first. And actually, 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 the technology for film in the 60s was shit. And it actually would have cost more money to fake the moon, land, the moon landing than it would have to actually get there. That's a fact. I feel like a lot of people don't believe in things that they don't understand. And, like, the math isn't... For me, the math isn't that hard, because that's all it is. It's just math. Math got us to moon. And uh, we, we had that math down for a while before we actually invented the technology to get us there. People hate change in all forms and hate feeling like they were ever wrong or lied to. <laughs> the moons have been there for, or the mirrors have been there for thousands of years. Yeah, yeah, actually it's true. When Devil Man <laughs> blew up the earth and created a the moon, he actually put mirrors up there just to mislead us. there, uh, one minute. We'll probably check it out pretty soon. Not trolling, I promise. <laughs> I need to just disable whispers, TBH, because I feel like most of the time it's just people being creeps. So I, yeah, I don't usually look at them. I'll have to make a point of that when I am back on my PC or send me a private message. That's probably the better way to contact me. Or, there's also uh, like Twitter. Twitter's a good way to contact me too. Just at me. All right, so we have 30 seconds left on the timer, so let's like, give it a look. Okay, yeah, we're gonna wait those full 30 seconds. Get on your protective gear. You don't want to burn yourself, right? So you gotta wear an oven mitt. I love these oven mitts because look how long they are. I feel like most of the burns in my life have happened between here and here. You know, most of the oven mitts only go up to here. But this is, this is so nice, having that extra space. Alright, here we go. podcast with my sister. So there's podcast number one that I've been doing for about a month now. It's very chill. It's nothing, no major. It's just me and my ex-roommate, and sometimes a third, <laughs> talking about video games and anime, which I do on this channel quite a bit. So that's podcast number one, Dead Air and Lag Spikes. Podcast number two, I'm doing with my sister, and I'm like editing them and putting them on YouTube, and it's like a process, way bigger deal. Those actually aren't coming out until this Friday, but because I'm doing this thing with my sister and I really want to like have it get off the ground a lot faster than my stream did, because <laughs> like when I started streaming, I just kind of started streaming and didn't let anybody know about it. I just kind of had my own little corner and I, I got steam eventually, but I feel like if I just like, you know, put myself out there a bit more, things would have picked up a lot faster. And so I, I learned my lesson, you know, I want to like promote and like get the hype train going before we start this podcast. So Friday, 
there's a big podcast coming out and I've let a lot of my family members know and so they've been like kind of coming in and out of the stream just checking in on me because they didn't even know I was streaming on Twitch and such. So I'm not too skeptical skeptical that on new accounts. You believe that the Titanic didn't just sink from an iceberg, but there was a fire that happened on board. Um, I suppose that's possible. I mean, I, I wasn't there. I haven't read any articles dealing with the Titanic. I mean, moon landing, that's my shit. I just find that science completely fascinating. And so I've looked into the conspiracies a lot, and I've decided for myself that we actually went to the moon. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about the Titanic or boats. I actually, I don't really like the ocean, to be honest. Maybe it's because I was born in the desert, and just like, that's, you know, my home. Not a big fan of the ocean. It's big and scary. There's nothing out there for me. You watched the Titanic movie? Yeah, do you want, I, do you want, I also watched the Titanic movie. I forgot, that means I'm an expert on the subject, actually. <laughs> you are a conspiracist? A conspiracy theorist? So do you know what's funny? I love the term conspiracy theorist. Because people like like to throw it around like, oh, you know, they're just a conspiracy theorist. They're they're crazy. It's just crazy talk. But did you know that the term conspiracy theorist was coined by Richard Nixon? He was calling the people that were accusing him of the Watergate scandal conspiracy theorists. And you know what? They were right. So what does that tell you? Therefore, all conspiracy theories are right. Easy, easy logic. <laughs> Kidding, of course. Well, I love conspiracy theories, I really do. And there's some that I do believe in. But, uh, moon landing, one of them. Moon lands the moon, the earth is round. And if you can understand maths, you can prove that to yourself. Actually, you know, the, uh, the Greeks figured out that the world was round a long, long time ago by just using math and shadows and proportions. Not only did they figure out how bad it was around, they figure out how big it was to a pretty accurate degree. And then you have the Mayans. The Mayans, not only did they know that the Earth goes round, but they also figured out that it processes on its axis. shot JFK. That's my biggest conspiracy. Like, oh gosh, it goes so deep. I don't know what I believe about it. I just believe that there's something rotten in Denmark. You know what I mean? Something. I would, I would like to see the, those imp, those papers that were supposed to come out last year. Why isn't anybody else so mad about that? They're supposed to come out last year in November, and the JFK papers still haven't come out. That's some fishy shit. That tells me that whoever took over the government in that little debacle is still in charge. Everything else is a fun front. They were supposed to cast a Titanic replica cruiser? Hmm. They did come out? What? What? Alright, you'll have to link those to me in my Discord jet. Because I need to read them. I think I've read almost everything that has come out on JFK. That was out pre-November. I might have actually read some of this stuff. I'm, that's one thing that I was thinking that, like, anything that does come out is probably things that you could know if you dig, dug deep enough. Ooh, it's starting to smell like cookies. We have one minute left. Oh, yeah, those are looking nice. Don't want to open it too much, let the heat out too bad. Oh, where am I going to put this? Hmm. Oh gosh, I usually have wax paper, but I ruined it. Or um, parchment paper. I guess I'll use wax paper instead. So 
So like if you have a wire rack, that's like the ideal way to take these cookies out of the oven is uh, take them, put them on a wire rack to help them cool. I don't have such fancy technology, so I just like to put them on some wax paper, get them off of the hot cookie sheet, and onto something to help cool them. So I believe in aliens. I don't think we've had contact yet, but I think it's a matter of probability. I mean, how many freaking billions of stars are there out there? And how many planets exist within the habitable zones of those stars? And I feel like somewhere out there, there's aliens. Whether or not we'll be able to make contact is a whole nother story. Hey, it's done. Oh yeah. And they kind of look like hearts. Look at that. Yeah, and so I think that the the longer ones did kind of turn out more like hearts. Although these, the fatter ones are super cute. Even though that they don't look as much like hearts, they're super cute. Just try to get them off the hot surface as fast as you can. Chocolate's kind of melting in getting all over the place, but that's fine. The camera's not pointed the right way. There we go. And look at that. Nice, fresh baked cookies. Just ready to cool down. bought yourself a wire racks because you ran out of cooling space. I can totally see that, Mr. Mayor. I can totally see that. <clears throat> I just want to give these a, a hot minute to cool down. I want to get it a hot minute. Ah. Oh, what else? I think I need to get myself some really fat ones. this cup in particular. So in my opinion, this is the best glass for dipping, right? Whiskey glasses, they're nice and fat and have a big mouth. You can actually fit the cookie into the milk. Pro tips. <laughs> they look yummy. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. cookies I'm gonna call the stream but uh, I will be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time 
to do more splat and look crazy. Oh, actually, is he going to be on tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday. Yes, he will. Okay. Because I know we're just switching it up to Tuesday, Thursdays, Splatoon. So keep that in mind for your coming schedule. You're allergic to chocolate. That does suck. That sucks so bad. I, well, I'm not allergic, but I'm lactose intolerant. So that's why I gotta drink almond milk and not the real stuff. But, so I don't really like the real stuff, but that's probably because I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> it gives me a tummy ache. So there's my Twitter information for you guys who are interested in either of my podcasts or this stream to know what I'm playing and when I'm playing it. Um, so follow me on Twitter if you're information if you're interested in any of that information. If you're also lactose intolerant. Oh, that's a shame. So like I'm just you just can't have milk and cookies. That's a shame. I guess you can, you can have almond milk and then like non-chocolate cookies. But these cookies are so good. I should put a timer on them. So we can know when they're cooled down. Um what else? But it ain't the same. Yeah, I don't know, it ain't the same. I have some pretty bad allergies. Um, mostly seasonal allergies, but I'm also allergic to grapes. So, food allergies are... They're a pain. Because, like, you know, you, especially if you're, like, eating with somebody. In my own house, it's fine, because I just don't buy grapes. Or grape-flavored anything. It's fine. But, like, if I'm over at somebody's house and they serve me something, and I see a raisin in there, I have to be like, oh gosh, I can't eat that. And then they feel bad, and it's a thing, and sometimes the, it's in everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if, because raisins are really popular in like, stuffing, so if like, they stuffed the bird with raisins, I probably shouldn't be eating any of the turkey either. It's, it can be a pain. Food allergies, huge pain. Raisins are good. I know, right? Raisins are good. Uh, grapes are good. Wine's good. Pretty much everything is good that comes out of grapes, but you can't have any of it. You hate raisins? My husband hates raisins with like a burning passion. I have no idea why. He just does. <laughs> it's still way too hot. Wine is terrible. Well, I don't drink at all, but wine's tasty. Back when I did drink, I think wine was my favorite because it just has a nice, nice taste to it. You love wine and not raisins, so in uh, I'm just gonna call you Grace. They take all the, the good good stuff out of grapes, make it into wine, and everything that's left over, that's raisins. Cool up faster! Oh yeah, I can see that they're starting to cool, they're starting to break a little bit. Gin and beer, and dude likes Jack Daniels. Teach his own, right? Wait, isn't what is gin exactly? Cause like, I know Jack Daniels is whiskey, and that's just like barley, right? Or wheat? Or is Jack Daniels bourbon, which is just. Tennessee whiskey. It's almost like hot. 
happened here? It's, oh gosh, I can't turn on the fan though, because it'll be so loud for you guys. You won't be able to hear me if I turn on the fan. Alright, I think we might be, be ready to try one of these cookies. Alright, ready? Ready for the money shot? Get the heart. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's a good cookie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your Rick Communion is lit. Wait, don't they use non-alcoholic wine at Communion? Oh yeah, and speaking of which, it's um... Ash Wednesday, so if you're looking to go get that non-alcoholic <laughs> communion wine, today is the day to go down. So here you can see the first batch of smaller hearts. Well, they only kind of look like hearts. And then over here, ooh, you can see the second batch, and they, they kind of look like hearts, but not so much. Kind of. This one kind of turned out well. It even has like the, the butt of the heart and, and everything. <laughs> We use grape juice for the kids. I guess that makes sense. That's basically non-alcoholic wine, right? Kids should be given wine as punishment. Some kids like it. Some kids like it. Okay. You can't steal them, they're recording. Mm -mm. Legend, how are you doing today? Thank you, thank you. Oh, these are good. They're nice, soft and chewy. The extra protein in the bread flour really makes them nice and chewy. They're... I think mine might be a little dry, but just not really. Just because I'm a perfectionist. Overall, they're good. They're very good. Oh, yeah. Getting, getting my dip, dip on. Eating the last of my cookie. Mm. Mm. the show and I hope you might have learned something about baking whether it's you know why you need to sift flour or you know how to do the very basics like measuring I know well, there's a lot of recipes like I posted the recipe on Twitter and it was just like a little tiny block of text it's so simple but there's a lot of details that they kind of assume that you know when they post recipes that a lot of people just weren't taught. So that's why I want to make this little segment of cooking streams or, you know, to teach you guys how to do the very basics for yourself. Yeah, so I'm gonna sign off early today because we're gonna go have some Valentine's Day fun and uh, maybe spread the love with these cookies. I will be back tomorrow at 10 for more Splatoon, followed by Hearthstone, so please tune in, and um, 
And have a great day, guys. Peace. Oh, wait, no. I forgot one more thing. Thank you to the Lurkers. You guys are awesome. And I appreciate you guys, too. And a special thank you to the Shell Squad. You guys keep me going. And an extra special thank you to Morkraw for the birthday present. You are appreciated always. And uh, I also appreciate your sweet message that you gave me for my birthday. I Actually, all of you. I appreciate all of you. So what I'm trying to say, you're, you are loved this Valentine's Day. I will be back tomorrow, and I hope to see you then. Until then, peace.